Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Boba7772, and today I'm doing an action figure review of the new Ezio Auditore action figure from Assassin's Creed uh, Series 3 of figures. So without further ado, let's get started. So I found this figure at Walgreens thanks to, uh, com I completely forgot the username of the uh, person, but uh, they kept commenting on one of my uh, other Assassin's Creed videos, and uh, they informed me that the Ezio uh, wave was out and that uh, they found Ezio Altair and I believe that they also found the uh, Aitabai. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name, but um, so anyway, I called like all the Walgreens in my town and only one of them had these. It had uh, Ezio and one of the others, Altair, so I snatched them up and here we are. Um, so that was a quick story about how I got them. Uh, also, the figure is around 15 bucks so pretty expensive but I think it's worth it so uh, the packaging is uh, kind of new but it look I like it a lot more and it's kind of a bit more basic which I also like um, so it says Assassin's Creed ages 8 and up uh, official Ubisoft product uh, go down and we see Ezio here awesome revelations Ezio uh, unlock and play avatar and content see back hopefully they haven't uh, cheated us out again though I don't think they did so each one looks like comes with uh, 20 U points plus some other stuff um, except for Arno he doesn't come with 20 U points which is strange uh, but he comes with an actual in-game thing so I guess that's cool <laughs> um, so go down, have all this stuff. We have a cool picture of uh, Ezio here. Uh, stuff on the back, you know, your basic stuff that's always there, and then your figures here. So let's open this bad boy up and see what he's made of. All right, so now we have the figure unpackaged, and I've got to say he is incredibly awesome. So the accessories he comes with, um, he comes with two additional hands. Um, one of them looks like this pretty much on each hand. Um, if you can see, let me try to get this um, better. Or, well, I can just like barely hold that to where it's easy to be seen. But um, we have the open hand like this. He has it for pretty much both hands. And then also we have a closed hand like this so that he can grip one of his weapons. Um, other accessories he comes with are two extended hidden blades like this. Um, so... That is the extended one, very cool. Uh, the unextended one is just kind of cut off short, like maybe that long or something. Um, and I've got both of those on him, so uh, I will kind of show those. Here's what it looks like on his arm. Uh, it, it fits in really well and it blends in and it actually goes in very well too. Um, also, he comes with this uh, sword that you can take out and uh, he's able to hold which is very cool and he holds it fairly well and then he also comes with a smaller knife that he can also hold um, lastly he comes with a removable hood that you can just take off and he can you know be hoodless and whatnot so uh, I think that they've gotten a lot better as they've uh, gone with the series so uh, let's do articulation on him so first of all he has a ball jointed head that rotates around 360 degrees. Um, his shoulders rotate around 360 degrees, but are more or less, uh, I guess you could say prohibited uh, by the shoulder pads that he has on both arms. Uh, his elbows bend forward and rotate around 360 degrees, and then his wrists rotate around 360 degrees and up and go up and down, and so do the hands, because the hands are uh, removable. The waist, Wow, I don't... I'm, I'm kind of scared to even try to move the waist. Because uh, last review I did on my Abilene figure, um, I heard that she... I, I didn't think that she had waist articulation because uh, she was just a, such a stiff figure. But it turns out that she did have waist articulation and I got uh, corrected in the comments. <laughs> and that was something like, uh, that was a super mistake of me. And yeah, that was totally my fault. Uh, but I honestly don't think that Ezio here has waist articulation. Um, but as for leg articulation, wow, it's really uh, prohibited. Um, his legs seem like they can go out quite a bit, and it looks like they can also go up and down quite a bit, but it's uh, prohibited by his uh, 
kind of uh, hard plastic soft or soft hard plastic uh, ropes here. Um, his knees bend backwards and rotate around 360 degrees and his ankles rotate around 360 degrees and bend out and are on a ball joint. Um, as you can just see, I took his foot off for some reason. Can I just snap that back on? Um, so this is all in all a really cool figure. I'll go over the detailing too. I'll go ahead and take the hood off for that. Um, so come on. Wow, this reminds me of just like a couple months ago whenever I was playing Revelations. Uh, the face, I honestly don't think captures him too well. Uh, and it might just be me looking at the NECA version of him because I have a couple of NECA... Uh, Etio figures, but this one just seems a little bit odd to me. The face just, eh. I don't know. There's something about it that the face looks really strange. Uh, we go down. The shoulder pads are cool. Eh. Um, he just, he looks really cool. Uh, I would say basic, but I mean, I don't think that this is the default uh, Etio in his default armor or whatnot, but uh, it's still a really cool figure. Um, so... Uh, I'm gonna put the hood back on. Uh, what would I rate this figure though? That's the question and uh, wow, I really, I don't know what to rate him. Um, he's not bad by any means, but he's not perfect. So I think uh, going by that, uh, the kind of lack of waist articulation or so stiff that makes me scared to try to move the waist. I don't think that he has waist articulation, honestly, because um, I tried fairly hard. And the legs uh, being so prohibited by that. Uh, and you know, he's a parkour, so he's supposed to run. So I'm going to say I'm going to give him like a 3.5 out of uh, 5. Because he's an alright figure, but he isn't perfect. So that is pretty much my review on this. Remember, I got him at Walgreens for about uh, 15 bucks. And I got, and I found him in Altair, and I would probably call ahead first. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, Boba7772 out.